When you think of China, you might think of the Great Wall of China or the famous Tiananmen Square. But have you ever heard of the ancient Phoenix city of Fenghuang, the bustling cities of Wuhan and Changsha, and the Hallelujah Mountains? This is China like you've never seen before. Follow us as we travel across Wuhan, Zhangjiajie, Fenghuang, and Changsha. Scoot is sending us to China! We're going to Wuhan, Changsha, and Zhangjiajie. We're going to show you a side of China you've never seen before. Let's go! Today we're here at Yellow Crane Tower, one of China's most iconic landmarks. After climbing five floors, we finally reached the summit. From here, you can see a view of this beautiful skitty, 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 skitty skyline. City skyline. Skuyuan Temple is one of the four largest Buddhist meditation temples right here in Hubei. We are here at Donghu Mo Shan Scenic Area. It's full of greenery that you don't see in the concrete jungle. You can ride a bike. Or you can rent one of these. Making our way downtown, walking past faces, past Hubu Alley is a century-year-old, 150 meters long alley that is dedicated to serving our favorite thing in the world, food. Wow, solid. You think that because it smells disgusting, right? That the taste would be like a bit wonky as well, but it's very well seasoned. Head out there, would recommend. Zhang Jiajie National Park and the rock formations were a heavy inspiration to the landscape of the Avatar Hallelujah Mountains and it's really, really a sight to behold. We are on board the Bai Long Elevator. It's believed to be the world's tallest and heaviest outdoor lift. It was actually recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records in 2015. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We managed to catch some really good views right here in Tian Shan. You know what the trick is? Come early before the sun rises and then you get the whole park to explore for yourself. <laughs> there are many great canyons in the world but there are none like this. There are 99 sheets of glass on this platform. And at 985 feet above the ground, it really feels like we are floating in mid -air. In a place like this, the possibilities of touristy shots you can take are endless. Just... <laughs> we can do touristy shit without being judged. 3, 2, 1... <laughs> We're exploring the ancient town of Fenghuang and this is known to be one of the most beautiful small towns in the whole of China. I heard it's really pretty at night. Like the whole town just lights up in this orange glow. So right now we're at Zhu Zizhou, which is Orange Owl Island, where the famed youth Mao Zedong statue is held. The history can be dated back to 1,700 years ago. The reason why it's called Zhu Zizhou is because back when they first found the island, it had an abundant supply of oranges. We are on the way to Yelushan! 20 minutes away from the bustling city of Changsha is this gorgeous place with beautiful scenery and greenery. We see a lot of people taking photographs, a lot of people relaxing. It's a very, very famous spot. Everything here looks so futuristic. The architecture of this place is quite insane. It feels like you're in another planet altogether. This is a really good place to take some IG photos as well. Changsha isn't Changsha without its vibrant nightlife and endless food streets. Oh, we're getting some noodles. Oh. It's very nice. It's very chewy. It's super fun to eat. Yes! 